Generation 2 Past the Gun Review! Woohoo! Welcome back to Yeah Nerd Plasticon Generation 2 Review! Today we're going to talk about some world's smallest Transformers, yes! Starting out with world's smallest Optimus Prime! Now this is the original that came out years ago. I do not happen to have the gun to it, but he's really, really cool. I think world's smallest is one of the things that doesn't really get a lot of look in the fandom. It's really cool, and this is actually the G1 version, but he does transform just like the original did, which is kind of cool. I do like the way these do transform. For some reason, my fingers won't work this morning. Oh well. Anyway, here we go. Get that arm out. And then get this arm out. And the cool thing is, he actually molded in the fists within the actual bot, which is kind of nice. And there's something here I want to point out. There are no holes for putting in a gun. Teeny, tiny. Look, look how small that Autobot logo is. It's very cool. Very, very neat little head sculpt. He's very neat. But the reason why I broke this out is because I have within this box this lovely box with you know, a more modern type of logoing on here. I've got a world's smallest in here. Crack open this box. You can crack open this box tray. There he is in his alt mode. This is the Generation 2 version. Now the G2 version, it would come with a little baggie along with some stickers that go on the trailer. There's this nice little clamshell. This clamshell here kind of holds everything in position. It comes with the standard gun and the bloated gun, a little roller, and a couple uh, little rocket launchers here. Now the trailer and truck do separate. And this is why I wanted to point out a big difference. Big difference between the two is this is much darker, just like the G2 actually would have. There is no G2 logo on the side of the truck, but the Autobot logos are different, which is kind of nice. And it doesn't have all the uh, tampering like picked out here on the chest and all this. It is definitely different because it's supposed to be Generation 2. Taking a quick look at the uh, trailer. It says Optimus Prime on there just like it originally would. Lots of detail, especially for World's Smallest. World's Smallest does not tend to get very much recognition and it does have that lovely G2, or sorry, G1 logo tampled on the front. And the little button things here picked out, but there's no electronic gimmicks on this. He does successfully plug into his trailer. Just like so. And he also has his two little guns that go on the sides, just like the original. Generation 2. Now this is something I really like about him. It's very neat. I love the idea that that just plugs in like that. I mean it's really cool that they would give us such an awesome thing like this. I mean this thing is sick. It's really neat. It's very cool how it just, it works. This thing just works completely. Like all the blue on the trailer and everything. It's slightly lighter color. So I'm guessing when it was made, they just stuck with the lighter color because that's what was available. But it would have been nice to see the darker blue, especially for the mini roller. But he does have a 
fold out gimmick just like the G1 and the G2 does along with the back of this thing open and now you gotta pull these off the whole trailer opening gimmick now this has to actually be stored down because for some reason this sticks up just too much for it to actually close correctly but the crazy thing is, is this thing has got a full range of articulation, just like the original. The same thing with the, uh, the little grappling arm. Now, the little claw itself does not open, but it does successfully have all the crazy little gimmicks that it, the normal one would have. Sadly, roller does not shoot out. But, you can successfully stick him right here. And it really works well for just a little display piece. Now, as for Prime, Prime actually transforms just like the other one. But there are some differences here once you get him transformed. It's very different. Very, very finicky to transform, by the way. Um, if you do plan on getting world smallest, you gotta have some patience because these are all little teeny tiny ball joints that everything comes off of. So when it comes to transforming these, it can be a little, a little taxing sometimes, but it's well worth it, especially if you just want like a nice little display piece or anything else. Now his fists are red versus the blue fists and his head is actually black. He does have fist holes though which is different and little fist holes will successfully hold. The little rifles. I prefer the bloated gun over the other one, but he does have articulation, just like the G1, and you can, if you want to, put the uh, rockets, the rocket launchers in his hands too. Now the only big thing that I can say about this particular little set is the fact that there is no lights and sounds and the backpack portion on the trailer does not come off. Now, if that's something that kind of puts you off, I can understand that. But whenever you look at these two together, it really does work. I mean, it really is a cool little set. It's not that expensive. I found this one here actually on eBay for like, I think he was like 15 bucks with shipping. It wasn't too bad. And it was brand new. Nothing was, you know, took out or anything like that. All completely put together. But really neat. I do like it. It's one of those ones I would say for you G2 collectors out there is probably a must get. And the uh, stickering on the trailer is very detailed it's kind of hard to see some of the detail because of how shiny it is but it's all there all that detail now there is no side stickers because you know those right there would have been way too small and this actually opens as well filling the uh, teeny tiny seat that's in there and these do not come off there is no uh, removable missiles here the, the missiles do not come off but it does have a lot of detail and it's kind of cool you can see through there like you know could have possibly maybe had like some little missile like spring loaded gimmick and there isn't it's just a little trailer give you a little bit of a look at the bottom but anyhow this has been Plasticon and this has been a quick little review of some generation 2 goodies that I have acquired 
I will have another review of another particular G2 here soon in the future. So you guys stay tuned because I have more, plenty more, coming from the G2 Kibble Barn of Awesome. Anyhow, this has been Plastic On, and this is me signing off. Peace out, you guys. See you around.